Well, hello, I'm Jeff Barr, Chief Evangelist for AWS. I got the best job in the entire world. I get to take amazing, complicated topics and then distill them down and then explain and share their amazingness with people like you. Today, I'm gonna pull back the curtain and explore AWS hybrid connectivity. Hope you're ready. First, what is hybrid connectivity, also known as a hybrid network? Let's say this model is your premises, and this over here is AWS, including your virtual private cloud or VPC. Hybrid connectivity, that's just the general term for the network that links these locations together. Beyond this simple model, hybrid connectivity opens up the ability to run AWS services anywhere, whether that's in a specific part of the world, a specific city, or even your own data center. On top of that, it can help you simplify your wide area network. Let's start with connections over the public internet. You don't want anyone to see your data in transit to AWS, so site-to-site -site VPN creates two IPsec encrypted tunnels that run to your VPC, keeping all of your network traffic secure. However, we all know the public internet is like the Wild West. It's always unpredictable, and your data is going to make any number of hops, which can introduce latencies of tens of milliseconds, sometimes even more. But there is a way to bypass the public internet entirely. AWS Direct Connect is really cool. It runs a wire from your equipment to our equipment, just like that. And there you go. This provides high quality connections capable of very low latency and has native MacSec encryption at speeds of 10 or 100 gigabits per second. In other words, very, very fast. If you use Direct Connect at more than one location, you can send data between them over the AWS network using a relatively new feature called SiteLink. This makes expanding your network much faster and easier. Okay, your data has now arrived at the AWS network. Right now, that network has 26 regions, 84 availability zones, and over 100 Direct Connect locations all across the globe, and it's constantly growing. But even with that reach, there are times where latency or location of data means running your workload in a region isn't quite right for you. In these cases, a simple and effective solution is to reduce the physical distance between your premises and AWS. This brings us to AWS Local Zones. Local Zones put AWS services inside a large metro area. Because Local Zones are so close to users, it makes them a great place to run applications that need single-digit millisecond latency. But we can get even closer. We can bring AWS inside your data center or other location. We do this with the AWS Outpost family of fully managed solutions. Check this out. One U, two U, and 42U. At this point, your network is linked to AWS. But what about your wide area network, also referred to as WAN? Many WAN have grown organically over time, and now they look like, and there's really no other way to put this, spaghetti. AWS Cloud WAN sorts this out. First, you connect your networks to AWS. From there, Cloud WAN links everything together with one place to set policy, automate tasks, and view the health of the entire network. In other words, it untangles your spaghetti. We could go even deeper with SD-WAN, Private 5G, and Transit Gateway. Unfortunately, the video's gotta end at some point. If you wanna continue cracking open this topic, check out our page and start building your very own hybrid network today. Thank you so much for watching.